What's up everyone, welcome to the episode of Spinning Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and today we're going to talk about something that I honestly was going to let sit for a week at least, because I was kind of hoping Sony would come out and either squash it or back up this claim that is being made about the Venom movie being rated PG-13. And obviously if you ask anybody, they're going to say, dude, it's PG-13. It was in a Variety article, or everyone's talking about it, bro. Like, it's definitely happening. And uh, you know me, I'm a little bit skeptical, and I like to hear things from official sources. That's what I try to promise you guys when I started this show, even though sometimes we would like look at IMDb and see things there, but even IMDb can be reliable at times, because actors, I know the process of, you know, their headspace of when they're in a movie, they want to put their role up on IMDb to show that they're in something. Sometimes they don't always give their character name, uh, so there's some forging and fudging there. Uh, but sometimes they do put it up there so they can prove, hey, I'm in this movie and I want to get another role. And so when they're get, you know, when agents and people are looking them up to see what they're in, it's like, oh, they're going to be in Venom coming out, you know, and so on and so forth. They get hired hopefully for the next job or at least get to come in for an audition or something like that. So even using IMDb can be right at times. And uh, sometimes even just hitting, you know, hearing hearsay could be right. So, and that's kind of what we're going to talk about today is we're going to talk about hearsay and rumors versus official announcements. So as far as the question I'm asking in this video, what rating is Venom? I'm going to tell you up front that I don't know, obviously. And I don't think any of us really know uh, outside of the people that are working on this movie. And uh, and I know that they have a rough cut of the film. We know that because Shope Aluko uh, shared an image on her Instagram that she was doing ADR, you know, additional dialogue recording. She was doing that at Sony last week or the week before. And then also Scott Hayes was there last week doing ADR and uh, who may or may not be playing Roland Treese. And so uh, there's a lot, you know, going on. And with that rough cut, we know usually when you do ADR, they have at least a rough cut of a movie to work off of. And you're going in and cleaning up your lines of dialogue or re-recording lines or saying something a different way or something like that. Um, and we also know about reshoots, which this article, you know, that we're going to talk about from Variety does mention. But we already talked about it on our show. And according to everything we've seen, um, even some of my theories, it looks like they only did like a week maybe of reshoots and it was mostly pickup shots and a couple other little things. It didn't look very intense and it didn't even look like it involved many of the actors either. Um, so this happens with every movie. And so when I saw Variety mention this, of course I saw a bunch of people out there going, oh, they did reshoots. They're trying to reshoot it to add more humor and make it funnier and do this. And it's like, it's like we don't know what the reshoots were. <laughs> There's no proof of any of that um, except for for some of the images we saw on Tom Hardy's Instagram, which may or may not be from the reshoots, and we already talked about that in previous videos. So if you want to check those out, please go back and check them out because they're a lot of fun, and we did a lot of fun speculation on those. Uh, but as far as like real information, that's what we need here because if you read this article, and we're going to break it down right here, it has two people listed as the authors if you go to the mobile version it says brett lang or brent lang excuse me and uh and i think uh justin kroll or, or i think is the other name but uh when i'm on the actual website it just says brent lang so i don't know if that's something wrong with my server or something wrong with my you know bing, if i'm using bing search maybe there's something wrong there i don't know uh, but i'm coming to this page and first thing i notice is that and i'm i'm pretty sure of this uh that this title what's next for the spider-man universe after venom you know, exclusive. Uh, I am almost positive that is not the name of this article when it went up on that first day. I'm pretty sure, almost 100% positive, that the name of this article was something along the lines of uh, Venom unlikely going to be rated R. And I remember thinking that because when I came to the article, I, I know that was their headline when they tweeted it, and I have a picture here of them tweeting it, so I know that was what they wrote in the headline there. Um, but if you look at any of the links, like, you know, everything looks like it's been fixed up, touched, or re-edited in some areas um, to, you know, and fix the link and everything. So I'm kind of curious if maybe I, I'm remembering wrong, but it looks like I remember reading this article and getting to the part where they mentioned the rating and being like, wait a minute, this part of the article has no quotes in it. It's not, there's no executives like that they're mentioning by name. There's nothing here. Like all this like hard work that was put in to the top half of this article where someone's actually interviewing someone that works for Sony, asking them about their attempt at a shared universe, asking them what's happening with Silver and Black and the fact that it's going to be split into two movies now and Silver Sable and Black Cat are being pursued as solo movies instead of a joint movie with the both of them. 
And so, and they have all these great quotes and they talk about the director of Morbius and how he got Jared Leto and they talk about everything that we heard about. The Equalizer 2 writer uh, being asked to write a script for Craven, and if the script comes out great, it might be something they pursue. And obviously if Venom does well, it might be something they pursue. And then also they mentioned Silk and Jackpot and Nightwatch and they just, you know, they have a lot of characters. And I, honestly, all these characters, I don't know why they're making movies about half of them. Like I would rather see like a Prowler movie with Hobie Brown than, you know, over like Nightwatch watch or jackpot or silk really um but uh, i think they have a lot of great characters over there they have like 900 they can use uh, but they're like focusing on some really weird ones uh, to me um but you know whatever i mean these are the ones they want to pursue that's what they want to do but either way uh we have this news and it's a very well constructed article in the first half and it's got direct quotes from sanford panich uh president of columbia pictures and uh you know, Sanford is kind of overlooking this shared universe, kind of, uh, you know, saying a few things, he's, but he's not the Kevin Feige. He doesn't make every decision at every turn. They do mention that one thing that deviates them, in, you know, from the Marvel universe is that it is, uh, it is actually that they are producer focused. So depending on which project and movies going forward, a producer, a key producer will be in charge of making those kind of decisions. And then those people will report back to Sanford and they'll look at the bigger picture. So there's no real Kevin Feige here. And I remember Warner Brothers kind of did that and uh, with their director, you know, they gave all the power to the directors and that didn't really work out too well for them. Uh, so I'm curious how this is gonna work out. Although they do say some of these movies share the same producers, like Morbius and Venom have the same producer, like one of the same producers on them. And then obviously Avi Arad and Matt Tolbeck, I think they're gonna oversee a lot too. And then you have like Amy Pascal who's gonna produce Venom and then the, the Into the Spider-Verse movie, I think, and then possibly the Silk movie. So she kind of has her like plans and stuff. So they all kind of have their own little pockets and corners, and some of them overlap and some of them don't. Uh, but they talk about all this in the article, and it's pretty interesting stuff. And then you get to this, this part in the article that has no quotes. Like for two paragraphs, no quotes. It's like, it's like that's where I'm wondering, okay, this had two writers credited to writing this. Did the good writer write the top half? and the other one come in and write the clickbaity stuff because everything in these two paragraphs is all hearsay and i'm not out here to try to like slam this writer or you know slam these people's hard work uh, but i i can't like a lot of this is just like words but no quotes they do such a great job giving us real sources and real quotes about real projects up above but then we get to this point and it just out of nowhere shifts gears and says it's unlikely that Venom will be the first rated R Sony Marvel movie. Trailers for the film, which recently underwent reshoots in Los Angeles after shooting in Georgia, which yes, they shot in Georgia, but they did reshoots after filming in San Francisco. That's where they recently sh did uh, shooting. And so they didn't do reshoots in Los Angeles after shooting in Georgia. They also shot in San Francisco and I think some things in New York. So not even fully detailed here either. Um, emphasize the horror elements, uh, movie elements, showing the title character as he's about to bite a person's head off. But some members of Sony's brain trust believe that the film should push the very limits of PG-13 without crossing over into a higher rating. So let's talk about that sentence real quick. Some members of Sony of Sony's brain trust. So what does that mean? First of all, how many people exactly are on the brain trust? I think people would like to know that information. Let's say there's eight. Uh, is some two? Do two people think it should be rated PG-13? And the other six are like, hey, you two, shut up. It's We, we voted and it's going to be rated R. Like, is, is that what's going on? Because they don't even list the members of the brain trust. They don't, like, the top half of the article goes into detail about who they're talking to and what projects are what and what directors are what. And then you get to this paragraph and it's amateur hour. It's someone just throwing stuff out there saying that some members want, you know, believe this or they don't, you know, they want the PG-13. And the feeling, the feeling is that it will give the studio greater leeway for future installments that will feature Spider-Man. Something Venom does not do. So it says here clearly Venom is, you know, obviously Spider-Man is not in Venom, but we heard things like this back at Comic-Con when Ruben Fleischer said, we are really pushing the envelope. We're, we're not trying to get an R rating. We're just trying to make a accurate portrayal of the character. And if that puts us into the R rating, that's up to the MPAA, but we are making the movie we envisioned and that we you know, are fighting for, and we're gonna do our best. And it might not be something that Tom Hardy even said that his son can go see because it might be rated R. And we do have ratings from other countries like Spain has it listed as 16 plus. And that doesn't mean everything. That doesn't mean it's rated R because half the movie that are rated 16 plus in Spain 
turned out to be PG-13 here in the U.S., but then others, like Logan, was rated uh, 16 plus in Spain. It is also, um, you know, rated uh, uh, R, you know, here as well. So there's, it's 50-50. So 16 plus doesn't guarantee it's rated R. Um, it's just the film as the way they probably showed it to the MPA so far is so close to that line of PG-13 and R that they felt safe rating at 16 in other countries, 16 plus. But for here in the US, it's very specific of what makes something R and PG-13. And so it's gonna take a little bit longer and they might not get another official announcement of it until like another week or so. I don't know for sure, but I would imagine that less than a month before the movie comes out, we have to know the rating of this movie. So I'm thinking since we're about less than 50 days away from the movie coming out now, we should probably hear something in the next week or two at the latest uh, from an official source from Sony or from the MPAA. So this movie could be rated R. I'm not saying it's not rated R. Uh, and I'm not even saying I would care either way. Obviously, I'm still going to go see it. I'm still interested. Uh, but I thought the whole point of this movie was to make it rated R and that it was a direct result of the success of movies like Deadpool. And I thought that was the point of this. Um, so this article just shows me what these authors or this author of this certain paragraph uh, felt like adding in uh, to stir the pot to get clicks. Because like I said, the original title of this article had to do with the rating. And then they changed it. Uh, and I even called them out on Twitter. I was like, so what? This is according to you because you give no quotes from any executives saying that this is rated PG-13. And now the whole internet is getting mad that this movie might be PG-13 even though we don't have an official word at all about it. Uh, so it's just funny that all these YouTubers and all these websites are out there and they're like, you know, getting those clicks and showing their rage and being like, this is why this movie never should have been made. And, and it's like, Dude, we don't even know. All of your comments may be valid. They may be true. You can still hate on the movie, but at least hear it from an official source before you go that out of control with your response. I'm even wondering where they got this information from because it kind of, you know, when you see interviews like this and you, or you see articles like this and you see quotes, you're probably thinking, oh, well, they were sitting there talking to the person, you know, one on one. And it's kind of hard to believe that because if so, I feel like they would have asked the question, hey, do you know what the movie's rated? And they would have got an official quote. So what I'm thinking is, that, and, and, this, and this is what's going to back up my theory here in a second, that a press release was sent out. So Sony does this and every company does this at some point. Uh, they'll send out press releases, things that already include quotes about certain things and something they wrote up. I used to write press releases for different companies that I worked for. And you send them out and you try to and you say like, hey, uh, either extrapolate something from here and write an article about it or you can post it up as is. Um, and sometimes they'll say like, hey, don't post this as is because we don't want every site running the same thing. So just pull what you think is interesting and then post it up on your site. And the reason I, I bring that up that maybe there was no actual interview, maybe no one actually sat down and talked with anyone, or if they did, they only did for the first half of the article and then the rest is maybe just wild speculation. But IGN also posted like a little video on their IGN news that almost says word for word, just again, like almost like, what was that Philip guy who recently was caught plagiarizing over at IGN? It's kind of like what he did to Boomstick gaming's channel where it was like he took what boomstick said and then like added his own thing to it and like it just kind of tore like twisted some of the words around um so that's what happens in ign's video they basically show this little like one minute video and it has these quotes in it but the quotes are slightly tweaked versions of the things we see in this variety article so i'm wondering either ign is you know their movie person is plagiarizing or they just both pulled from the same um source they both got you know something in the e you know in an email saying like hey hey, here's a press release, pull something from this. And they just po both pulled similar things. Uh, that's my other theory. So I don't even know if this was like an actual real interview. That doesn't discredit anything on here. This happens a lot in Hollywood. And it's a lot of times how websites get information is that they send something like that over, a press release over. So um, so it's not, I'm, I'm just bringing it up because I find it interesting. It's, you know, that there was that kind of similarity. And it makes me think, oh, maybe they just sent a press release and there was no actual interview and there was no one to ask personally, uh, you know, what the rating of this movie was. Because I feel like that's, if you're going to bring that up in your article, I feel like that was probably on your mind when you were there interviewing someone and you probably would have asked them um, unless they said something like a boring answer like, oh, we don't know the end, you know, we don't know what it's going to be rated. And you're like, well, that's not going to get any clicks. Uh, so tell me more. Why don't you know what it's going to be rated? It's like, well, we have maybe two people saw it and they don't like that it's rated R or that it could be rated R and they think it's too gory. And they think if we do that, we might, you know, maybe we can't, you know, add Spider-Man one day. And it's, it, you know, I think it's just like hearsay stuff. It's stuff that isn't valid uh, or it's just something that's like, oh, this is someone's opinion that we overheard talking or something, but it doesn't speak uh, you know, truthfully and to the greater uh, answer to answer the question of what this movie is rated. And so, uh, so again, this article, 
I'm not going to use it as a source. And that's why I waited a week because I was kind of hoping, like I actually filmed a video like this and edited it and got it ready. And then I deleted it. I said, you know what I should do? I should be unlike every other YouTuber out there and everyone out there, you know, who's trying to get clicks and I should stand by my word that I am just trying to get accurate information as best I can to the people who watch this show. And uh, cause they deserve that, you know, for supporting me, I should try to, you know, give them at least my opinion on stuff and tell them why, if I'm not going to jump on something that probably could have got me clicks and views, like why I uh, decided to reserve myself. And that's the main reason is because I felt like maybe if I wait a week, Sony will come out and say officially what the movie's rated or the MPAA will announce what the movie's rated. Uh, but since they didn't do that and it's been a little over a week now, I think it's fair to say that Sony is just, you know, we've seen it throughout this movie when, there, when people out there and go like, oh, you know, Tom Hardy's uh, or Tom Holland visited the set. That was a big rumor. And guess what? Sony said nothing about it uh, right away. Like they just let that rumor go out there so that people can, you know, get mad about it or whatever. Because they're in their mind, they're probably like, who cares? Like, you know, the movie will come out and they'll get the answer. Um, and again, I was saying that maybe they're playing, they were doing that on purpose because they were maybe giving people false hope that maybe Spider-Man was in it. So they would go see it. But then at, you know, Comic-Con, they straight up were like, no, you know, Spider-Man's not in this. Kevin Feige in interviews, no, Spider-Man's not in this. The Russo brothers, no, Spider-Man's not in this. And yet everyone kept, you know, believing that Spider-Man was going to be in this movie. Um, so to me, we've been here before. We've been down this road with this movie where rumors get out of control and Sony sometimes doesn't jump in. Uh, I think the only time anyone jumped in is when like Man of and a couple other people were saying, um, oh, oh, you know, Venom's only in this movie for five minutes, according to this script that leaked not too long ago. And Tom Hardy himself was like, yeah, usually people with bad influ you know, bad resources and are unable to research anything and don't have actual connections. Uh, yeah, usually they make stuff up for click, you know, bait articles. And as we've seen in the trailers, we see a couple at least different fights and scenes that Venom shows up in the movie. So clearly he's in it for more than five minutes. Uh, probably not much more, you know, he might only be in it for like 30 minutes, but still, or 20 minutes. Uh, but still, that's, you know, pretty standard for, uh, you know, an action movie of this caliber. And we don't know the final budget. So, you know, I, I heard rumors that it's maybe around 70 million might have gone a little bit over, uh, but we don't know for sure. Uh, I'll have to wait for an official word on that. And that's what I like to do on this channel. I want to wait for official words on everything before we talk about it. But since we didn't really get an official word this week, and a lot of you guys were asking me about it, and now that I'm on Twitter, I see everyone losing their mind. It's like, look, if you want to get mad and make an, a decision to hate this movie because it's PG-13, wait for it to be officially announced. And I saw, and the reason why a lot of people out there think it was officially announced is because there are bloggers and vloggers and uh, websites and there's people out there that say definitively, Venom is rated PG-13. And it's like, nobody said that. Not even this article said that. They just said some people at Sony would like it to be in the hopes that they can maybe one day connect to a universe where Spider-Man can be there. Um, and I'm going to use a bad example here, but we have seen movies before that were rated R in the first two movies. Uh, like if they do this Venom movie and then they do a Carnage movie where Venom fights Carnage, both rated R. And then the third movie be PG-13. We've seen that before with like, you know, uh, RoboCop. I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, RoboCop 3 is definitely everyone's least favorite RoboCop movie. Uh, but they have done that in franchises before. I think uh, Die Hard has gone down to PG-13. So, you know, to me, it's like it, it can be done. You know, if you want to add Spider-Man later and you don't want it to be in a rated R movie, that's fine. You can always do that and make that movie PG-13. Uh, but to me, it, it that has nothing to do with this in this article. And so people are like, are like you know, they want to put their ideas onto things. They want to put, they want to imprint themselves into something and they want to put their bias in there. Oh, I'm for this movie. So I'm going to fight saying that this movie's still rated R. And oh, I'm against this movie. I'm going to uh, agree with this and, and uh, pull what out of it that I want to hear. I, I'm going to read what I wanted to read in this article and I'm going to say it's PG-13 and then I'm going to dog on the movie. And it's like both sides just chill out and let's wait for an official word. It might be PG-13. It might be rated R, but we don't know for sure. And just check your sources. If just because you see 20 outlets share this news and information, go back to the original source. Find out where you know the original source is. And I understand why a lot of you don't do that because a lot of people don't cite the original source. I saw websites give zero credit to Variety. I saw IGN, they put their video up and I was like, well, there's a lot of similarities in these quotes to what's in Variety, but they don't mention Variety at all. So that's why I was thinking, oh, maybe they got the same press release or maybe they just plagiarized again. Like who knows? Um, you know, and I hate to say that about IGN because I actually liked their website and I it was, it was a bummer to hear about what Philip did over there. But uh, you know, when I saw that, that did pop in my mind. I was like, holy crap. Uh, so. So, you know, just chill, go back to the original source 
and read it for yourself. Try to find it if you can, uh, because even a lot of YouTubers, I saw 20 YouTube videos. If you type in Venom PG-13, I think the first 10 or 20 YouTube videos, none of them cited Variety. They all made videos on this and not a single one cited Variety. I think one guy cited IGN, so he got his source from there. What I see written here is not confirmation about anything, PG-13 or R. It's just someone filling in to get, you know, put something in this article that might seem juicier than the rest of the stuff. Because honestly, an article about, you know, silver and black splitting up, I mean, that's interesting and people will definitely have opinions on that, but I, I don't think that's enough of a hook to get people, you know, to share this article. But saying the movie's rated PG-13 and feeding into people, you know, who don't want this movie to succeed and, you know, have a strong opinions about the, the, the rating of the movie defining how good the movie is, like, that's a juicy thing to put in an article. And that's what it comes across as when I read this. But you know what? I'm kind of a skeptic and I know how articles are constructed and I've done, you know, I've seen this stuff happen before from amateurs and I've always tried to steer away from that if I could. Um, and I'm trying to do that on this show. I mean, certainly we all make mistakes. And again, I'm not trying to take pot shots at the people who worked hard and try to get this article up. But I just want to say that nothing in here According to me, at least my opinion, that's this show, it's my opinion too, but I want to hear yours down in the comments. To me, this does not confirm the rating of the movie, and we should all just chill out and wait for an official word, and that's all I'm saying. Before we get mad about everything, if we want to get mad, wait for the official word, and then we can yell at each other all we want. But for now, let's just kind of take a breath and wait to see what is going to happen and wait for an official word from somebody with a quote that we can all talk about uh, and not just hearsay. So again, like I said, let me know what you think. That's all my thoughts. I've talked about this long enough. I want to hear what you think. Let me know down in the comments below and we'll talk about it down there. Thanks for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.